Hello everyone and welcome to Convention Review's first ever annual con of the year. In this video we will be talking about our top three conventions that we attended in 2014 ending with our number one convention which is our con of the year. Now of course we were not able to go to every con out there as the channel gets bigger year by year hopefully this will become a more complete video talking about cons from all over America. Either way, all these cons are still very good conventions and should be checked out by all of you. Without further ado, let's get started. Our third best con of the year was Anime Milwaukee from all the way back in February. This con took place in the Hyatt and Convention Center in downtown Milwaukee. The location was beautiful and held the con really well. The dealer's room was pretty great, though very crowded at times. They also had a pretty nice game room, with tons of games. One of the best things this con had going for it was its maid cafe, which was on the top floor of the hotel and was very well put together. Anime Milwaukee had many great panels. One example of this was Cosplay Combat Chess, where cosplayers acted out as chess pieces. The rave at Anime Milwaukee was put together very well and it felt very safe as no bags were allowed in and all IDs were checked. This convention also had a talent floor set up in the Hyatt where fans could come together to show off any talents they may have. All in all, this convention was a ton of fun and a great way to start off the year. A few months after Anime Milwaukee was Anime Midwest. This convention was held in the Hyatt and Convention Center in Rosemont, Illinois. Not only was this year a major improvement from last year, it turned out to be one of the best cons we would go to all year. One of the first great things about Anime Midwest was their con suite, which is basically an area of the con where they give out free ramen and soda all weekend, so no one will have to worry about going hungry. The dealer's room in this con was very good and never felt too crowded, even though there was a ton of stuff in there to look at. Anime Midwest also had a second main events room that was solely for concerts and musical guests, and they had a lot of them. At most any time during the con, there was almost always some type of concert happening. They had a very impressive lineup of guests. There was someone there for everyone. On top of everything else, this was one of the best cons all year as far as organization and staff goes. Everything ran unbelievably smooth and the staff seemed very helpful. They put on two raves. Both were very good raves, having great DJs and one of the best lighting setups I've seen at any con rave. Anime Midwest had a sleeping samurai group there, so if you wanted to, you could fight your friends with foam swords. All in all, this con was very good and would have been my con of the year, if not for one other con. A few months after Anime Midwest was YumaCon. This con blew everything we had experienced up to this point out of the water. YumaCon was held in the beautiful Renaissance Center and Kobo Center in downtown Detroit. While the Kobo is a very big and very nice building, the Renaissance Center is easily one of the best places I've ever seen a con held. And it honestly made me wish every con could be held there. The place is massive. Even though it's a big con, you never once feel as though there are too many people there and that you're tripping over others. On top of that, everything at this place is absolutely gorgeous. This convention has two different food courts one for each building it's held in. Because of this, you never need to worry about going hungry. You can get back and forth between the two buildings using the People Mover, a monorail that connects the Renaissance Center to the Kobo. The dealer's room at Yomacon, while not the biggest I've ever seen, was a very good dealer's room with something for everyone. Yomacon also offered a free day on Thursday, with the game room and a couple small panels open to anyone even if you had no badge. Yomacon had two different game rooms, an arcade room with all free-to-play arcade games, as well as a massive game room with literally every console you could possibly want to play. This con even had a viewing room 
that just played different AMVs all weekend. So if you were ever bored, you could just stop in there. The registration here was extremely fast and very well organized. On top of this, every line went fast and everything was very organized. Yomacon had a rave on Friday and on Saturday. Both of these raves were possibly the best con raves I've ever been to. Finally, the con staff was unbelievably friendly. Yomacon is without a doubt our con of the year. If you've never been to this convention, you should really change that as soon as possible. Hopefully in 2015, we'll be able to go to many more cons and make this video much more diverse. But for now, we're sticking with Yomacon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel and our dream of one day doing videos for every single con, go to our channel and on the right hand side, click on the button that says support. Anything that you can give is much appreciated. Also, check the description for links to the Convention Reviews Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and to my Twitch where I stream games all the time. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next